Hi, I'm Sophia Parafina. I'm going to take this time that I have here. Um, right now, I am a geographer for InfoChimps, where we create a lot of data. I'm previously, I was um, director of operations at OpenGL, where we did a lot of open source um, OGC compliance stuff. And previously, before that, I had a company in DC that did um, basically web mapping, OGC web mapping, which we sold to Erdos. Um, and before that, I worked for um, Inkytel, which was the CIA's cap venture capital fund. At Inkytel, here's my little personal story. I, I funded a crap load of money to OGC to develop standards, and um, I'm here today to actually bash a standard that I helped fund, which is very sad. Everybody's had a very positive. Um... Ah, there we go. So that's me, InfoChimps, um, Sophia Parafina, and my topic is. Web map servers, is our WMS, is dead. So here is the UML guy. He has collapsed over for after 10 years of sucking. <laughs> really, I mean, seriously. All the open source projects are building WMS servers. That's not where the technology is going. And I'll kind of go why we don't do that. So what exactly is a web map server? Do you actually get a physical map? I don't think so. What we do is we just get pictures. You know, and apologies to Eric, but yeah, projections really don't matter when it comes to web mapping and making pictures because all the stuff is we're plotting stuff on a graph. It's not an actual physical map. If I make a measurement on a web map, I'm not measuring real things. I'm measuring stuff and sending parameters to computers. So ultimately, what do I want out of a web map server? I don't want it something that's pretty. I want it to be very fast and I want it to scale. I want everybody to be able to use it. So why I want a pony, as always. <laughs> Please, Dad, find me a pony. Um, so how do we make pretty maps? We make pretty maps using a thing called SLD, which is another OGC standard, stands for Style Layer Descriptor. Um, we do it with XML, that's what SLD is. But X, SLD is really a really nasty, devolved programming language, that's what's happened. So in order to make pretty maps, here's the list of numbers of lines of SLD that are required for meant for organ out of the Open Geo Suite. OS on a box takes almost 25,000 lines of XML. Now compare that to the number of lines of code that is actually used to serve up or consume this data. It's a fairly large fraction. It seems very unreasonable in order to make a pretty map that I have to write that level of really bad, ugly code in XML, which is really a data language, not a programming language. So style data descriptors basically suck for drawing. There are no native apps that actually let you build a really nice map instantly. So let's get to facts. So this is a chart from the WMS shootout. Happens every year at Philosopher G. Um, last year we're seeing map server doing about 45 requests per second with 64 clients hitting it. That's not bad, really not bad at all. However, how did you, they do this? It's basically they configured the hell out of it and they detailed how each server, each team did that for software enhancements. What I say is that after doing this for 10 years, it's not sustainable, okay? You can't do that in production. So the real question is, does it scale? Does it really scale? Are you being served by WMS servers out there? I really can't find that many production servers out there that are purely WMS, mainly because it just doesn't scale, even though we're serving that, that quickly. What's happening is everybody is going back down to tiles, which we've referred before. So to paraphrase, it's tiles all the way down. Look at the broadband map, which you um, use GeoServer. All the stuff down there is tiles. Some of the great things people point out to me when I say WMS is dead is that this is really human readable. So stuff like GML is human readable, SLD is human readable. Really, seriously, do you want to read all this stuff in angle brackets? I mean, now look, this is a request to get a map. So I'm not picking on Esri, but you know, I just happened to pull their thing off the web. And so I want a map of oceans, countries, and cities, and I have to tell them, I have to tell them what the styles are, tell them the projections, tell them the bounding box. Is it really human readable? I don't think so. So again, I'm gonna bash projections, apologies to Eric, but we're not making real maps on the web. This is all shadows in the cave stuff. We're just making pictures, okay? This is pretty much just you know, making pictures. So, whoa, this the, you don't have my font. So, okay, talk about interoperability, which is the reason why WMS exists. So interoperability is this, okay? We want to have two services be able to um, talk to each other, map server A, map server B, okay? And come together. But really, 
What we want is this nirvana, okay? This is what we want out of WMS. <laughs> this is the whole promise of WMS, is to have this type of union between multiple services. But the reality is this, people, okay? <laughs> because WMS itself, the slowest part of it is what every service is in the chain. Your maps are slow, there are vendor options. It really isn't interoperable. So um, that's my talk, and um, happy to discuss your GIS.